Welcome and welcome back to my channel everybody. This video is going to cover Shoulders Day. Um, so I believe this was a set of 25 pounds. I'm just uh, warming up here. I'm warming up with a little bit of push-ups. Uh, just making sure my rotator cups are warm uh, to pre prevent any injuries. Shoulders is actually my one of my favorite group of uh, of muscle to work on, right? So a lot of people are asking, oh, how much you bench, things like that. But uh, I think shoulders uh, and even back are the most, um, uh, I think, the most two important group of, of, of muscle. Uh, that's gonna give you that that V shape uh, illusion. Um, I have been doing, uh, I have been working out on my shoulders uh, throughout the past year using only the uh, piece of equipment I had, which is the um, the adjustable dumbbell uh, bow flex that you see here. Um, and you can do uh, you can do most of the exercises uh, with uh, with the dumbbells with shoulders, but uh, obviously um, the weight only when uh, only goes up to as high as 52.5 per dumbbells. So it's not you know it's not certainly uh, too it's not too heavy, but uh, you can certainly get the uh, the things that you want done, whether it's high reps or whether it's kind of um, you know a moderated uh, excuse me a uh, an adjusted uh, kind of workout. So uh, yeah, I've been working on my shoulders for the past uh, for the past year using just these dumbbells, but uh, I'm actually was quite quite excited to uh, to lift heavy again, and I did. Uh, uh, incorporate the 100, the 100 pounds dumbbell into the shoulder press. So uh, definitely not a clickbait. Uh, and you guys just have to wait and see uh, whether I was able to uh, live it up or not. When I used to go to the gym, I always tried to do at least uh, 10 minutes of cardio before lifting. So whether it's uh, the bike or a treadmill or elliptical, you know, I always try to get my um, um, heart rate up and get a little bit of sweat going before, you know, uh, we actually hitting the weight. So, um, uh, and since uh, my treadmill actually hasn't arrived yet, and when I was filming this video, um, in which you guys are interested, the link for the uh, the unboxing treadmill is in the description as well as uh, link uh, on the top there. Uh, but I was doing just doing some uh, some uh, light run here, and uh, <laughs> as I was looking through the video, uh, I realized I could uh, I could have. Um, uh, get my knees up a little higher but uh, hey guys this was like six o'clock or I don't know five o'clock in the morning so I was a little tired but it, it gets the job then I was warm <laughs> after those uh, after these exercises uh, first working set here so I just did uh, I believe it was 50 pounds um, maybe a little lower I think I think it's around 50 pounds um, uh, for the first set. So I've been using these uh, throughout the quarantine period. So it's not too too heavy for me um, But uh, the uh, the third and the fourth set that's when I start to go uh, heavier Second set, uh, 52.5. So this is uh, as high as the uh, adjustable dumbbells can go. Uh, and you are, I realize um, the choice of music for this video wasn't uh, wasn't great for working out, but hey, um, I didn't pay too much attention to it. It's kind of like a background noise for me. Uh, and also the uh, the things, the noise, the audio that you heard on the TV, they are basically like a workout program that I have. Uh, up there from Beach Body, just uh, just so uh, just more background noises for me. Also, I know that jumping from 52.5 uh, to 100 pound is a pretty big jump, uh, but you know because uh, 
that's the these are the only two options I have um, uh, then uh, if I have more options I would consider jumping you know an increment of 10 pounds per set instead of you know 50 pounds per for for from a third set to four set so uh, maybe I'll get uh, more uh, dumbbells options but uh, I'm running out of space in the gym here I'm, I'm trying to figure out when I rewatch this video uh, I realized I could have um, uh, kick the uh, my left foot up a little higher to assist uh, the dumbbell to go up. Uh, as you can see, it was uh, it was built a little awkward there to get that uh, the left hand up. But I'm I'm, uh, I'm glad I was able to uh, get it up. So it was definitely heavy, uh, heavier than uh, I remember uh, as I used to do these 100 pounds dumbbells for shoulder press, uh, 10 to 12 reps, fairly easily um, um, prior to to COVID. But uh, yeah. Um, uh, I also know that I could have um, squeeze at the top, uh, maybe not necessarily locking out my elbows, but just kind of squeeze uh, for like a split second on the top there a little better. For the next couple of sets, I superset it between dumbbell lateral raises and uh, barbell front raises. Uh, lateral raise is probably my the my number one go-to exercise for shoulders uh, i think every time i do it i feel the burn i feel the pump uh, and i think it's one of the best exercises within uh for shoulders For the lateral raise, for this, I guess for this video, uh, the priority here was to make sure I uh, I keep the pump going. So I kept the, the the dumbbells weight fairly low. I believe it was between thirty to thirty five pounds. Um, um, so I can do as uh, you know as many uh, I think as many reps as possible um, without you know sacrificing the form. Uh, so about 10 reps uh, up raise and then uh, lateral raise and then 10 reps up front raise.
last uh, dumbbell raise exercise that I did was an uh, alternate uh, dumbbell seated front raise. Um, I usually do this standing up, uh, so but I'm just trying something new here. Um, and I usually, I'll, I'll sometimes I'll alternate this between, uh, uh, instead of holding the dumbbells, I would hold one 45 plate and do front raise, or um, uh, while the gym, I would use uh, cable. Cable for front raises, but this one was pretty good. I feel I had a pretty good pump after this exercise. The last exercise for this video is drugs to get that, that, that big trap. Um, also, my other uh, favorite thing to do uh, for shoulders. For this video, I use the 100 pounds dumbbells, but uh, I usually alternate between uh, different uh, different type of trucks. So sometimes I would do uh, barbell. I would use the bar instead of the dumbbell, uh, and sometimes I would uh, do the high behind the uh, behind the back truck. And maybe I'll do another video to demonstrate that. I uh, usually to, I, I like this a lot, and I, I alternate between uh, the uh, different uh, the different way to do trucks.
All right, guys, that's the end of the workout. Uh, make sure you stretch uh, after every uh, every lift. It, it help. It goes. Uh, it goes a long way. Uh, so thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, please, uh, it, uh, it will be super helpful if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.